Do you ever worry about your finances? Whether you have enough savings? Whether it's okay to use buy now, pay later when getting a new pair of runners? Or what that thing called superannuation is all about? If you do, you're not alone. Two in three Australians worry about their personal finances on a monthly, weekly or daily basis. And about half of all Australians rate their financial well-being as moderate, low or very low. What is it that keeps people from improving their finances? There are many reasons, but one key issue is that many people feel overwhelmed when looking after their personal finances. That's not surprising. Finance can be extremely complex. One aspect that makes finance so complex is an abundance of choice. For example, if you want to get private health insurance in Australia, you have to choose from more than 3,000 different policies offered by about 30 different providers. When you're thinking about reinvesting your superannuation savings, you have to choose from tens of thousands of different investment options. It's easy to see that people may find it hard to find the options that are most suitable for them. On the one hand, people love choice, but on the other hand, they get overwhelmed quickly when confronted with more than a handful of options. What is it that makes choosing from different options so hard? Let's look at an example that we are all more familiar with, grocery shopping. Imagine your partner or one of your parents asks you to do the weekly grocery shopping. They give you $100, your budget, and ask you to buy the set of items from your local supermarket that your family prefers the most. As a conscientious partner or child, you would go to your local supermarket and figure out which combination of items within your budget would be the most preferable. Let's have a look what that would entail. Imagine your local supermarket only stocked 10 different items. You can combine 10 items in 1024 different ways, which means you can form 1024 different baskets of goods. You then have to check which of those combinations meet your budget constraints, and then you have to compare them all with each other and find the basket you prefer the most. This means though that may, you may have to do more than 100 million comparisons. Now, an average Australian supermarket doesn't stock 10 different items, it stocks about 20,000 different items. Finding the most preferred combination of goods in the way we just discussed is completely impossible. Even with access to all the world's supercomputers, we couldn't solve this task. At this point, you're probably thinking, well, that's not how I do my grocery shopping, neither do I. The point is, even if you wanted to, you couldn't. Let's get back to finance. Choosing which shares to invest your superannuation savings in is similar to the grocery shopping example, except that it's probably much harder. Shares have many more features than most items you can buy in a supermarket. They are probably much harder to analyze and their payoffs are usually highly uncertain. And there are many of them, literally tens of thousands. So how do we expect people to go about managing their superannuation or choosing private health insurance or deciding which mortgage to get? As we saw earlier, these tasks can be extremely difficult. What's important is that they are not difficult because of a lack of knowledge about finance, but because they are hard mathematically. In fact, many problems people face when managing their personal finances are harder than tracking military grade encryption. On the one hand, we constantly rely on the fact that no one will be able to crack the encryption we use when making online banking transactions, for example. But on the other hand, we expect everyone to solve much harder problems every day when managing their personal finances. That's strange, isn't it? What can we do? We believe that technology will play an important role in helping people to navigate their personal finances and to improve their financial well-being. We envision that in the future, every person is going to have their own personal financial assistant in their smartphone or their smartwatch. New technologies such as AI may make this possible in a few years from now. In our research, we explore how we can combine insights into human behavior with the capabilities of new technologies to build new tools that help people make better decisions and improve their financial well-being. Finance has always been about technology. If you look back, 
problems that people were facing in finance often stipulated technological innovation, which in turn advanced finance. And it's no different today. At many points in the history of civilization, technological innovation transformed finance and significantly improved people's lives. We believe that right now we're at the cusp of yet another such transformation. And we want to make sure that our students are equipped to become leaders of this transformation.